What is humidity? You've heard it in a few different ways. Is it invisible steam? Maybe gaseous rain? A mist? Well, actually, humidity is the amount of moisture or water vapor present in the air. Water vapor is not attached to the air. Instead, it floats in gaps between the air molecules. A water molecule can only become vapor when there is enough energy available to release it from its liquid bond, turning it into a water vapor molecule, which is released into the air. Hot air can hold more moisture than cold air. In other words, the warmer the air or water, the more energy it has to make air and water molecules collide with each other. These collisions transfer energy. When a water molecule gains enough energy, it becomes a vapor and breaks away from the attractive force that held it in liquid form. Water molecules can be located on any surface in your grow room, from nutrient reservoirs, to soils, to your own body. They can even form as moisture passes through microscopic holes in plant leaves called stoma. Basically, humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air. So what is relative humidity? Well, relative humidity is expressed as a percentage, telling you how full of moisture the air is at a given temperature. When there is no energy left for continued evaporation, the air moisture is completely saturated with a relative humidity of 100%. When the air is very dry, with no water vapor, the relative humidity is close to 0%. What does this have to do with you or your plants? Well, plants and humans transpire or sweat, keeping themselves cooler than the air around them. The lower the relative humidity, the more space there is for evaporated moisture molecules to jump from liquid to vapor. When there is high relative humidity, it's harder for water molecules to jump from liquid to vapor. This is because there is little air space left for water molecules to evaporate from our skin or the plant leaves, which makes it harder to cool off. Plants don't like being hot and sticky any more than humans do. Plants will be most happy when relative humidity is adjusted throughout the growth cycle. When your plants are just starting out as cuttings or seedlings, they enjoy really high relative humidity, 80% or more. At this stage, you don't want dry air pulling moisture from your plants or putting stress on your undeveloped root systems. Now, when your plants are growing stems and leaves, they prefer more moderate relative humidity, between that 55% to 70% range. When your plants are flowering and fruiting, they are happiest when the relative humidity is between 40 and 55%, much lower. This helps them concentrate the production of flowers, buds, and fruit. General guidelines suggest as plants develop, their need for humidity decreases. However, moisture levels will increase depending upon the size and number of plants in your grow room as they grow and transpire. This is why mechanically removing moisture from the air, like a dehumidifier does, is necessary. Relative humidity is dependent on temperature. Keeping room temperature in the 70s will make most species of plants very comfortable. Any changes to your room's humidity should be carefully controlled and as gradual as the changes happening in your plants. So how do we control relative humidity? How do we make these changes? First, you will need a hygrometer to monitor relative humidity. For more precision, you're gonna to wanna to place a few digital hygrometers around your room. Measure minimum and maximum readings on each. This will give you a map of how air and humidity move around your space. It's important to monitor humidity when your grow lights are shut off during the night cycle. Temperatures will fluctuate, and when temperatures fall and air becomes more cool, there will be less room in the air for water vapor. As an example, an 18 degree Fahrenheit drop in air temperature will reduce by half the amount of moisture that the air can hold. The moisture that was once in the air will now condense onto any surface available. It could be leaves, flowers, the walls, the floors, the people in the room. In turn, increasing the risk of mold and mildew, damaging crops within a matter of days. Growers control humidity in a number of ways. Regardless of geographical location, you are going to have to mechanically control your humidity. Now, some locations will have a more extreme need than others, meaning you will have to have more moisture removed from the air. In areas with moderate humidity, a handful of dehumidifiers working in conjunction with your HVAC system will get the job done. In areas with extremely high humidity, you're going to need to ramp up the amount of mechanical dehumidification that you have removing moisture from the air. It's just that simple. 
The most common problem faced by growers is a room full of fruiting plants with really high humidity. The simplest solution is to add dehumidifiers to your room. As a general rule, your dehumidifier should be able to remove as much water from the air as your mature plants can drink in a day. So sizing your dehumidifier for your location is essential in maintaining proper humidity control. We at Andon are here to help you in sizing every application that you may have.